Tô moro. The cast of Squid Game had to commit 100% to intense requirements, including gaining weight, enduring extreme conditions, and total confidentiality. The amount of physical stamina the actors in Squid Game show is pretty incredible. And what makes it more impressive is the fact that it's all real. The actors in the show had to stay extremely fit, so when they weren't working hard on set, they had to be working out at the gym to make sure they'd be able to achieve what was needed. Everything from being able to jump far enough during glass stepping stones, pulling during tug of war, or hanging on to the rope as it fell off the edge, battling other players viciously. All of this required a ton of strength and agility, so everyone had to make sure they were in top form and able to perform the impressive feats multiple times on demand. <laughs> Filming for Squid Game didn't exactly happen from 9 to 5 every day. Depending on the needs of the scene, the actors sometimes had extremely early morning calls. Or they began late and worked all through the night. Many hours were spent on set and each one was precious, making these long days very intense and exhausting for the actors. Not to mention the crew who arrived first and were the last to leave. <laughs> With such crazy hours, we would expect plenty of nice long breaks for the cast when they were on set to rest and recover. While they did have a Netflix budget, time is money, and any breaks taken while filming had to be short to make sure they didn't fall behind schedule. So many of the scenes required a huge setup and cleanup afterwards, so they had to be very diligent about timing and getting the takes right efficiently. 안녕하세요. 오징어 게임에서 준호 역할 맡은 위하준입니다. If any of the actors received an individual interview request, it was a no-go unless first cleared by the production team. With such a major show and all the Netflix hype, the performers of Squid Game have rocketed to worldwide stardom, and loads of fans want to hear more from them. The producing team for the K-drama was on top of everything, though. Marketing the show, taking care of their artists, and making sure everything went according to plan. It might seem intense, but running a show this big takes a lot of organization and work. It's evident the Squid Game crew is pretty incredible at what they do. <laughs> While everyone in the cast had to work out and stay in shape in order to perform each day, the actor who played Doc Su had to start work earlier since he also needed to gain nearly 40 pounds as well. It was really important in the show for his character to have a large physical build. And this was definitely one rule not broken. This intense physical transformation did come at a cost, though. The combination left the actor exhausted, really feeling the effects on set in his body, but he continued to push his limits every day. His body couldn't quite take it anymore when filming Tug of War. Between takes, the always tough Duck Su was throwing up from physical exertion and discomfort. Even after filming wrapped, the actor continued to experience negative effects. When these actors were cast, contracts had to be signed, and those included strict confidentiality agreements. The actors had to be tight-lipped and discreet about the show, making sure not to give away any details, even if they seemed insignificant. As we know from watching Squid Game, pretty well nothing we see doesn't have some other meaning. While they were working on such an exciting show and may have wanted to share stories from the set, the only people the cast could talk about their work to were other cast members. The secrets of the set even had to be kept from their closest friends and family. After a long, hard day's work, plenty of people want to have a drink and let off some steam. But not everyone is in the cast of Squid Game. The Sebyeok actress is pretty used to the model lifestyle. Late nights, big parties, great drinks, and she loves it. <laughs> the actress was often eager to go out after work, but her invites to fellow castmates typically were declined since the actors had physically, mentally, and emotionally intense work to do every day. They couldn't afford to have anything negatively affect them. Anupam Tripathi may be a breakout Netflix star, but he's also still an acting student. The performer was filming full-time for Squid Game while also devoting significant time to his thesis. His show schedule filming was hectic enough itself, so adding all the extra work that comes with working on a thesis during supposed downtime definitely makes for a tough experience. I had to finish my thesis also, but 
still it's going on. Let's see how, how it turn out. Tripathi had to make sure neither would conflict with the other, so he could stay focused, all the while giving 100% to both. He was definitely worn pretty thin by the end, but fortunately, he loves what he does and has a great attitude about being a student of acting forever. Just another reason to be impressed by this amazing performer. Is it just us, or are the rules of the actual Squid Game pretty confusing? Whether or not the actors had actually played or known these games during their childhoods, everyone got pretty familiar with the activities by the end of filming. These performers couldn't just act out what they were doing and have stunt doubles come in and take over when the time came for the intense games. Every actor had to really understand how to play. They weren't messing around. Even the Dalgona honeycomb candies were real. Definitely a tricky one, especially for those unfortunate players in the umbrella category. There were plenty of scenes when the actor's real-life fear was perfect for the cameras. Like the overwhelming energy in the tug-of-war or the trembling hands during the honeycomb game. However, there were moments that actors had to be up close and personal with danger, whether it was facing a weapon or trying not to move while their hearts were racing during red light, green light. It was vital for the actors not to flinch, no matter how exhausted or nervous they may have been in overwhelming scenes, in order to capture what needed to happen. The VIP room holds a lot of strange vibes, from all of its guests being masked to the real, human-animal, hybrid-living statues. These aren't shockingly realistic props. The actors who were cast as these roles were required to be covered in full body paint and behave still as statues. Their eerie presence is incredible, and they really make an impact, even if they are just in the background. Just tell us about the next game. The Sebyok actress isn't from the same region as her character is in the show, so she had to make sure to hide her own accent as it's different from how she needed to sound. Before she started filming, the actress had to work diligently with an accent coach to help her sound authentic and throughout filming, it was something she always had to keep an ear out for since the wrong accent would be noticeable to anyone who knew the region and it would have broken the illusion of realism we get throughout the show. There's no question, the entire team behind Squid Game's total commitment was key in making the show the success it's become. Actors like the one who played Doc Su were also working through muscle loss and joint pain while filming. This production was nothing but impressive and intense. 